still guys we gotta talk about some some fellow youtubers being swatted yet again fellow youtuber Tim Pool getting the cops called at his place for, for the night time and another youtuber called the quartering both bit both big youtubers over uh, a million subscribers got swatted just for mainly for the simple, simple fact that they have different opinions Guys, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know know know, know about Tim Pool. Okay, he he's he's more of a moderate left type guy, but but he but he still calls out the left. We you know whenever they, they they say something crazy, that's the, or they they do something stupid, or they don't want to admit some things. So because he's not a full fledged kiss ass to a certain party, he's called a Republican. Even though he he said he said he came out plenty of times that Republicans are trash, which I agree. You know. Milk, you know, milk toast, milk toast conservatives, chicken shit Republicans. He's he's more on on, on the on the moderate side, but he, but he, but he, but he but he calls himself liberal. I'm I'm more I'm more of a libertarian. So the fact that this keeps on happening because he has a different opinion that, that some people don't like, yeah, don't like. He's getting the bo the police swarmed at his house numerous times because somebody wants him dead. The same thing with with the quartering, but we go we're, we're gonna get to with uh, with Tim Pool real quick. So let me go ahead and show you this video from uh, the uh, media ite. Yeah, show you this uh, argument from media ite. Tim Pool podcast swatted for a ninth time this year. Forty k viewers stayed to watch abandoned studio for three hours. See that? See this is how, this is how how much pe people trust in Tim Pool. Do you think people would do this with, with, if, if it was Fox, if it was Fox News, CNN, or MSCBC? Nah, because they, because they, Tim Pool ha has an authentic, authentic fan base that that knows he doesn't does play one way. Podcaster Tim Pool and his crew with victims are swatted for the ninth time this year during yesterday's live show. On Wednesday's episode of Tim, of Timcast, IRL, the live broadcast was suddenly interrupted last night as members of Pool's staff. Entered the studio to notify the team that SWAT members had arrived at the office. Poole promptly announced, "We had to evacuate the building." So, so somebody apparently called that there was, that, uh, there was a, a bomb threat. So the SWAT team came in at uh, tent, uh, you know, at the business that Tim Poole runs, his put yeah his podcast business. So, cops was there for like ten minutes. Found out there, there was nothing wrong. At this point, I don't know why Tim Poole doesn't have. This this kind of call on a no SWAT on a no no SWAT list because people because we know that it's someone just trying to stop Tim Pool from doing his show and we know it's 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 somebody that 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 hates his guts so he's mainly he's so it, the person who called is mainly left wing because as soon as Tim Pool says something that they don't like they want this man dead that's not even a joke. And pe and you and people will allow this to be saying that hey, Tim Pool should should not have been a Nazi, even though he's he's more of a moderate. He's more moderate. Uh, quote: We're just going to keep the live stream going, but we had to evacuate the building. Pool added, "The stream will stay up as is. Just please keep watching in case something happens." The group begins to get up from their seats and exit the studio as one of Poole's podcasts chases the camera angle to a wide shot of the whole room. An hour goes by before an officer wearing a t-shirt can be seen entering the room, scanning with a flashlight. Another two hours pass by with nothing but the empty studio to keep the audience entertained. But that then dissuade them. Upwards of 40,000 viewers stayed to watch the whole thing unfold over the course of three hours. In fact, many fans donated money in, in, in the YouTube comment section and paid for Super Chats where audience members can make bigger monetary donations and have the comments permanently uh, featured on a live stream chat. YouTuber Viva Frey posted on Twitter in astonishment over the amount of viewers electing to watch a live camera feed of an empty podcast studio. Uh, and th th this is the video right here. So there was 34,000 people watching as the... Timcast IRL uh, podcast was empty, and while it was empty, a lot of people w was chatting, just at just 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 you know just talking, just talking, probably having probably ha having a good time, but they but they trying to figure figure out like what the hell is going on with Tim Pool being swart this time because I don't think it, it, it ever took this long with uh Tim with Tim Pool. 
like three like three hours they got swatted and people were still watching hey man that's a that, that's a true fan base right there that's a true fan base right there and that and that, and that's what Tim Pool has since he's not a kiss ass and, and you know he 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 gets it right down the middle and people know this people will still tune into this guy so kudos to you Tim Pool for creating a, a, a audience that that knows that you not on that you not you not really left right you you more in the middle so kudos to you for, for having a fan base that, that 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 knows you right down the middle hours later pool and his team were finally able to, to return to set i'm so tired pool said as he re-entered re the room is it working are we streaming this is the show's nighttime dealing with swat teams in 2022 previously pools has said that swatting indices began in january when he welcomed marjorie taylor green on the show to discuss january 6. since then pranksters have repeatedly called authorities to make false reports regarding pool which result and swat teams need to be to be deployed now a lot of people will probably say hey at least at least everything is all right that's not that's not the case that's not really the case because you you all know what might happen if these is some SWAT member or, or, or some police officer would just, would just come bust, bust, busting down your damn door and and, and, and might just start black and might just ha have everybody at gunpoint. So this was a dangerous situation right here. And pe and people may mainly authoritarian left. And I'm not saying that there's not there's not people on the right that want this, but it's mainly authoritarian left that want that since you have a different a different opinion than them, people say you should be you should be canceled. You uh, you know you should be in jail for for uh, spreading misinformation, quotate and that's in huge quotations. Or you should be killed. You, you you should be hit by a car, hit by a truck. There there are actually actually people like that on social media, Twitter, Facebook, uh, any any one of these social media out, outlets. Just just because you have you have a different opinion than them, they say. You should you you, sh you should get hit with the harshest punishment ever. And, it, and uh, apparently, allegedly, it wasn't just Tim Pool that they, they got swatted that day. It was also the quartering, the quartering who's he 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 does, he doesn't have have a, have a studio as Tim Pool, but he still does videos. Some I agree with, some I I, I disagree with. Okay. So let's look at let's look at the quartering. SWAT team just just left my house. Yeah, this this, this is from his, his, social, his social media accounts. SWAT team just just left my house. Someone texted them that I murdered my wife with a high pro high power rifle and was going to kill myself. They deployed the SWAT team for an anonymous text. They all knew it was SWAT too. Hilarious. I'm 100% dead serious. You'll be able to listen to the radio calls online, but no, uh. Effing body cams, total bummer. No, and here is why. I was I supposedly murdered my wife. The cops were sitting in my driveway when dispatch called me. My effing wife answers the phone. They should have stood down at that moment, not handcuffed me and make me lay in the wet grass and scared the, and scared the crap out, out of my wife. And yet, this is this is after somebody asked, "Did you at least give all the nice officers some free coffee for having to go to your?" Go uh, out of your house. If not, you're just as bad as a swatter. Again, this is just a some. I'm guessing somebody just trolling. We're 100 percent fine. Cops were cool after they realized I wasn't a murderer, but they crossed a few lines in my opinion. Especially you continue to cuff my wife, who was supposed to be the victim of my murder. We had a good laugh, and I have updated their do not swat list people. Uh, and then somebody somebody asked. Okay, so let me get this straight. You and Tim. Uh, Tim Pool got swatted at the same time. Is this what I'm hearing? Is that the case? Tell me it wasn't planned. I hope you and your family are well. By the way, your, your coffee is awesome. And according to stated, I am certain my swatting was due to the amount of uh, super chest I was sending him. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's it. Uh, quartering. I don't think that's it. So guys, there are people out there. People mainly, mainly left, mainly on the left. That hates people like the far left. That hates people who have a different a different opinion in them. And like I said before, Tim Pool is not a Republican. He's a he, he's a he's he, he's more moderate left. 
So he, he mainly leans, leans Democrat. But because he says some things that talk that that uh, goes against the the uh, the left wing narrative, people hate him for that because he's supposed to be this hard this left wing millennial type guy. And then then when it, when it came out that then when he comes out, he starts making making videos that's totally against the far left narrative. People want people want want him to suffer. Because he's apparently a Nazi in quotations, guys. Like it's, it's like some of us on, on, on this platform have been saying. From me, from Young Ripper, Eric July, to Ruin Leon, these people will, 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 will call you the most outlandish things, the most horrific people are, that have ever existed in history, Nazis. Because you have a different opinion in them. Do these people sa sound like they're on, on the right side of, of things? Because they're not. They want to. They they want little kids in dra in uh, drag shows. They want they want kid they want kids to go to to have like these stupid they them pronouns. They 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 the ones who talk about there's no such thing as as uh, gender. There's no, there's no boy or girl. There's, there's, uh, there's only they or them or they, people who can characterize themselves as a freaking airplane. They want, they, they want people who, with different opinions to be, to, to, to be shot down and killed. These people do, do are not on, 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 on the right, on the right side of things. They're actually loony. They just don't realize it. And, and then when, when people call them out, they, 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 they uh, people like me, they, they, people like me, like me get called a Nazi. And my thing is, they can call me whatever the hell they want. If they if they, if they come out and say I'm this, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna call I'm gonna call call them that, call them idiots, groomers. That's what that's what I'm gonna call them. Because you can you because because so, social media made people so damn entitled entitled nowadays. People could, could, could just say whatever they please, regardless if if, if it's. You know, damaging a, per a certain person's re reputation, even though they, that person could, could could have been a freaking saint. Like what, like what freaking Amber Heard did did with freaking Johnny Depp, called it, proclaimed this man as a monster. Turns out she was, turns out she was the abuser. That's what that that's that that's got the kind of person you want on your side. To to to, to, to the, I'm, I'm mainly people talking to the people on the left. Is that the kind of person you want on your side? Somebody, someone just, just you know, damaging your, your character just because she has a different opinion, or because you feel like that their voices should not be, should not be heard because you only want because you only want one view and that's yours. Anything else is considered hate speech. No, it should not be like that. It should it should always be two sides to the story. That's what that's what that's what having free speech means. You can have your you can have your opinion. And this person can, can, can have this opinion. It's called having an honest, an honest, honest conversation. If you if you can't have that, then Earth is not for you. The United the United States is, is not for you. Free speech is not for you. You you might as well just just wear a muzzle over your mouth if you don't if you don't like free speech, because that's what it is. Free speech. Having your own views that's free speech. You cut you you call somebody a Nazi. Just because they have a different opinion than you, that's free, that's free speech. But guys, let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. If you guys like what I'm saying, like I'm subscribed, share, share the video, hit the notification bell. I will see y'all next one. Peace.